Up to this point, we have looked in depth at Elasticsearch and what it is capable of. Now it is time to zoom out and start building our search application. In this section, we flesh out the basic functionality of our application, adding search inputs, results, pagination, sort controls, and aggregations. To begin, we have a general project structure. First, we are including the actual Angular JavaScript files. We have also included an Elasticsearch connector specifically for Angular, which is a module that Elasticsearch provides, giving us an easy way to interact with their API for searching, indexing, etc. Next up, we have a CSS file for our project. These specific styles are outside the scope of this video, so we will leave this as is and focus on building out our actual markup and functionality. That's it for prepackaged code. The search app JS file is where our custom JavaScript application will live. Then finally, we have search.html. Opening it up, you can see that it is just a normal HTML5 boilerplate file. Looking further, inside of our header, we are calling a few JavaScript files. We've linked to AngularJS, the Elasticsearch client, and our own search app. Now the first thing that we need to do is to tell Angular which area of the page we want it to control. ng-app, which tells Angular what a root element is. Then we will specify our app name, which will be search app. This will correspond with the application name that we are about to create. Switching to the search app.js file, we create a variable called search app, like we just specified in our HTML. This is an Angular module, and then we need to include that name again and in the dependencies of that application. In this case, our one dependency is Elasticsearch. We now have our application shell, and we are including it on the page. There is not much to see now in the browser, but if you look under the hood, we can see the elements that we've created. So let's add some data that we can display in the UI. In order to do that, we need to create a controller to manage a section of our application. We add a search app.controller. Controllers have the concept of dollar sign scope. To show a simple message, we're going to define scope.hello within the controller and set it equal to hello world. Then in our application, we need to make sure that we reference the correct controller, which we do by ng-controller. You should recognize by now that all of the Angular attributes are prefixed by ng- Since we are already within the scope of the search results controller, we should be able to add a template tag of curly bracket, curly bracket, hello. Hello being the variable that we just created. Great, our hello world text is showing up. In the next video, we will walk through getting results from Elasticsearch and displaying them in the browser.